Okay, guys, I got this card from the Goodwill. Um, I wanted to get a ball card, but they are so expensive everywhere you go. Can't find anything. I check Craigslist, offer up, clothes, find everything. Nobody sell them, and if they are, they are so expensive, even on like Craigslist. So what I did was I went to the Goodwill. Now they had this last week for thirty nine ninety nine. I said, there's no way you can charge thirty nine ninety nine for this card. And I said, one thing that's not stable, you know, and I said, look at this. I said, you know, that's a bit, you know, overpriced. So yesterday I went and talked to her. I says, look, let me talk to the manager. This is no way $40, even if it's half price. So she says, well, I'll give it down to $19.99. I said, for $19.99, I can go, I can get something brand new. So I waited. I said, no, thank you. I left. She says, okay. And um, so I went back today. On the weekend, they have, um, for the Easter, they had half price red tag. So she red tagged it for $19.99. Half price is $10. So now it doesn't look so ugly. Okay, the next thing I do is kind of analyze it. Now, what is the image for this car? Do I want it white? Do I want it bronze? Do I want it gold? Do I want it silver? So because I had the dark blue balls, I sold it like an indigo blue, and my white really pops with it. And I didn't want too much silver because... All my accents are silver, so I said, let's just go with the white. So the first thing I did was I took everything apart. I took all the pieces apart, the legs, the top of the table, just to see what I was working with. So then I just took the legs and sprayed them a high white gloss paint and um, let that dry on the side. Then I went to the wheels. Initially, I painted the wheels silver, but later turned it back to white. So once everything was painted, the legs and the wheels, I just put them back together and set them to the side. So now it's time to get to the top. So what I did to the top is I sort of just painted um, the top of it a white because I didn't want the dark wood, you know, to go through. Because I'm since I'm doing like a marble effect, you on top of the black lacquer, I had to do like a primer. Um, so I had to bring the wood back at least to a white. So the... Um, paint the resin won't be so translucent that that black will show through so then I had to select my colors to make the marble effect so I have a white a silver and a medium gray not a dark gray just a medium gray that give it that um, marble effect so once I select my colors it was time to mix it with the resin the reason why it's so many cups in, when you mix resin, you have your resin and your hardener. You're supposed to make sure they are of equal parts. The two ingredients go into one cup. You stir for two minutes, and then you take that into another fresh cup, cup and stir for another minute. So once I do that, I'm going to separate. The small cups are like my grays and my silver because I don't need that much of it. The two extra white, the red cups I label white is because those are going to have the large amount of the white paint. So now I have the paint in stirred in its cups. So I have the silver on the top left and then I have two grays. I have my white white paint and two larger red cups because I know I'm going to need a lot of that. So now it's ready to start the painting process. Okay, you know guys I have to fast forward this part because it's very long. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm pouring the base of the white first on the table. As you can see the paint on the table I sprayed a little bit of air um, gray on it just to help the effect just in case. So once I put the white on there you kind of just like pour the paint on there. It's like a really cool method. It feels like um, Elmer's glue. So and it gets really sticky and it's adhesive. So you have to wear gloves. I only had one glove left. So make sure if you even try this process that you wear gloves. Um, and it's, you don't have to be like this. This is like a nice glove. So I'm trying to do on the sides because it's very drippy, as you can see. Um, it's very uh, liquidy. So the longer you wait, the thicker it starts to get. So you really only have about 30 minutes to do this process. So because I'm just filming like this, I couldn't stop, take pictures, stop. No, because you see it's a very, very messy technique. The heat gun, what it does is it eliminates the air bubbles that will form with this um, resin. And you don't want air pockets all over. So what you have to do is just use the heat gun 
it eliminates the air bubbles but as you see it also helps blow away some of the um, design so when I pour some of the paint on you can see with the heat gun that it blows slowly it sort of makes this weird crazy marble design it's absolutely beautiful it's so much fun to do but it's such a messy process if you guys ever want to try it, I suggest you do. There is a lot of YouTube videos on resin art. And um, like I say, the results is beautiful. You can't get this from, like I say, contact paper. So as you see here, again, you see how um, I'm just moving it and swirling it. And you just lift it from side to side. And it sort of like drips the paint down. And it forms a design as you go. And, and as you see again here that I'm using, I have to constantly clean the sides of it because it's very drippy. And even though I was very careful, I could still see some drip marks. So there were some flaws to it, but still it came out really, really nice. So as the top was drying, I assembled everything back together. Um, the legs, you know, the bottom shelf. I just made sure I retouch anything that I missed. That's why the bottom shelf is covered. Um, I did the middle shelf white lacquer. I didn't want to do all three layers of marble. I just wanted that pop of just that fresh white. So this is the final product and I had it here. This is when I was practicing what type of things to put on my bar cart. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was clippy like that, but again, because my hands were so messy and sticky, I couldn't like stop and change camera positions and stuff like that. So I hope you understand. Um, I'm so glad that you requested this DIY and how to use resin. Also guys, also, you know how I am about my U-Lights. If you wanna see a room tour again, on my U light system, let me know because I have lights from my living room straight to the bedroom and in my hallways. They're all automatic and they're all controlled by Amazon Echo, um, Amazon Echo Alexa. So if you want to see how it works, if you're not sure how the colors work, just let me know. Leave a comment, and I can do a quick video and show you like a tour of how the lights look and how to use them. This is your more girls. Thanks again for checking me out on my channel. And thanks again, guys, for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Have a good day.